so hello guys welcome to the video so today we are going to talk about monitoring visits so if you are a cra or a crc it is very important to understand what are the types of monitoring visit and how to conduct them so let's start the video. So before looking at the types of monitoring visit it is very important to understand what exactly a monitoring visit is so a monitoring visit or it is usually called as an mv in clinical trial it is conducted as a way to have an oversight okay over the clinical trial and to review the progress of the study and ensure that there is certain adherence to the protocol the with the accuracy of the data the safety is maintained and there is a compliance with the regulatory requirements and good clinical practices okay so in monitoring visit you essentially monitor or audit the progress of the clinical trial and whether that trial is being conducted according to the protocol and the regulatory and gcp guidelines okay so that is monitoring visit so who conducts monitoring visit so study sites are monitored by the regulatory authority like the fda the clinical research organization okay which are the cro's even the institutional review board or the ethics committee also monitor a particular trial and a sponsor can also monitor the trial okay so these are the people who can monitor the trial okay so this is about what monitoring is so now uh, please note that there are four major types of monitoring visit okay so first is pre study visit second is the initiation visit third is the periodic monitoring visit okay and the fourth is close out visit so in this four part uh, series it is we are going to understand all these types of visit in detail and what are the activities to be done in it and how a particular visit is different from the other this will help you to comprehensively work in the clinical trial next is we begin by pre study visit okay so why is the pre study visit required okay and what are the components in it first of all the pertinent question is why or how are the sites allotted okay so you have to conduct a clinical trial and how do you allot a site how do you select a site and what uh, on what basis are the site qualified to conduct a clinical trial okay and what is the procedure before which the site actually starts the clinical trial okay so what procedure does the sponsor uh, do to say to a site that you have been awarded this particular project and you will conduct a clinical trial okay so what are the qualification criteria and what shall be done so that is the pre study visit okay so what is a pre study visit pre study visit is also called as site selection visit or site qualification visit or sqv okay from name itself you can understand that these studies uh, visit are conducted so that you can select a site or you can qualify a particular site for your clinical trial okay so this study uh, particular study visit is helpful in determining the capability of the investigator and the ability of the clinical uh, trial site to conduct our study okay so from pre study visit or ssv or sqv we understand if the site is able to conduct a particular visit now who conducts this particular visit it can be conducted from the sponsor or the cro okay so the monitor uh, on behalf of the sponsor or from the cro will usually request a tour of the facility so he will uh, particularly visit the facility okay visit the clinical trial site and he will require a time to discuss the basic fundamentals of the protocols so that he will clearly explain what are the requirement as per the protocol what are we expecting and what are the components required and he will evaluate that how that relates to the feasibility of recruitment potential of the participants okay because it is very important before awarding a particular trial to the site we see if the site is capable of recruiting the subjects okay without that the particular motive of the visit would be failed okay so pre study visit is conducted to essentially evaluate how the site is capable of conducting the visit now let us see 
what are the fundamentals of site qualification visit or pre study visit okay first of all during the site qualification visit the investigator is explained about his responsibility okay so what are the requirements from the study sponsor what are the requirement as per the guidelines the investigator is explained and what are the requirement as per the study protocol next is the qualification of the investigator and the site personnel is, uh, is checked because it is very important that the investigator is experienced in a clinical trial as well as the site personnel have the hands on experience of conducting a clinical trial because as you know clinical trial is essentially a very particular and uh, important activity which does not have any kind of variability in terms of being casual or uh, making a bigger mistake because it is directly related to the patient safety next aspect is uh, during the SQV, the study objective, protocol related procedure, the eligibility criteria and the patient recruitment potential is checked so that we know that you can get how many number of subjects, for example, 100 number of subjects the site is able to recruit for which you will have to identify 300 subjects. So we also have to consider the subject which would be early terminated, screen failed, okay. So what is the patient pool? That also is estimated in SQV. Next is whether the site has the IRB or IEC. Okay, this is IEC, and uh, what are the informed consent uh, requirements? Okay, of the sponsor. So availability of the EC and the particular requirements of the uh, EC as well as the sponsor is checked during SQB. Next thing is how is the adverse uh, event reporting done? What are the so how are the source documentation maintained? Where are the source documentation maintained? And how is the record retained at the site? that is also checked in physical form next is it is very important while conducting clinical trial that you have a space to conduct the trial because as you know the hospital or the research site have multiple uh, trials and the space is at a premium so space requirement is checked the availability of the secure, uh, secure area because we have to store the study documentation source as well as the ip in a secure area so that it does not involve any kind of tampering or there is uh, safety in terms of the integrity of the records okay so uh, secure area to store the uh, investigational drug or devices and the availability of the equipment okay so these are the fundamentals so what are the final selection criteria on which the trials are awarded first is the trial is awarded only after reviewing a detailed uh, site qualification visit report okay shared by the monitor it is a critical aspect next is the sponsor also evaluates the education of the investigator what kind of education the investigator has what is the training and how is he experienced to conduct a trial because the more the investigator is experienced in the trial the more he can recruit and competently work in the trial okay next thing is what is the site infrastructure and trained human resource because before awarding a particular trial it is very important that the site has proper infrastructure and the human resource are or the crcs or study personnel are qualified so that the trial can work smoothly and there are no uh, problems next is it is very critical that the pi or the principal investigator has a particular patient pool and interest to participate in a clinical trial it is very important to understand that a pi might have a patient pool but he might not be interested that much to recruit okay so these are the two separate aspect and that needs to be evaluated during the final selection and last but not the least the budget as well as the site requirement okay so what would be the study budget and what would site require in order to work in this clinical trial so these are the uh, major criteria before which they are evaluated and based on which you select the site at the end finally what happens after the sqv okay so based on sqv conducted by the sponsor or the cro the sqv report and the relevant information is presented to the study sponsor okay the sponsor uh, takes the final call okay on the inclusion or the exclusion of the site post which the study is awarded to the particular site and the ec or regulatory submission are, are done so that they inform that these particular sites are going to be in the clinical trial once we have the regulatory confirmation and once the, we have the ec approval next step is to initiate the site okay so in the next part that is in part two we are going to see what is sib okay and you will get a detailed aspect of the sib 
so if you are someone who is looking for a job in clinical research who is looking to make a career in clinical research then uh, look no further our friends at clinical aim research are doing an excellent job by offering a 3 months advanced certification in clinical research with uh, the fundamentals of clinical data management and pharmacovigilance so even if you don't know anything about clinical research they will teach you about everything and they will also prepare you for the interview which was the purpose of this video so you have to uh, not only learn the concept but be prepared for the interview so please go ahead and contact uh, on the given number and uh, you can enroll yourself in this excellent and amazing course so have a look at it and finally if you like this uh, video please make sure that you subscribe uh, like and share this video so that we can ensure that proper clinical trial knowledge is being transmitted to all the interested parties and we can stay updated so we are clinical aim research and thank you